bridge here in this video we're going to recreate uh, this uh, dashboard screen uh, from a UI kit called MaxKit in Figma. So let's get started. And the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to actually start from scratch. So let's click on the frame tool. We're going to click on the stop 1440 pixels of width. This is going to give us a good foundation for our dashboard. Now, after that, we're going to basically structure the top level menu and also the side menu. So let's get started and we're going to use uh, this uh, rectangle tool in order to create uh, our base. And uh, I'm going to essentially make this uh, white and uh, change uh, the color of uh, the background so that uh, it's uh, a uh, sort of a blue grayish tint uh, such as uh, this one uh, here also going to change the color of uh, the artboard uh, or the main Figma background so that we don't uh, uh, overlay on this too much. So let's just make, let's just make it a little bit darker and uh, this is going to basically do the trick. Also going to make uh, my video a little bit smaller so that we can more focus on the UI design. Okay, so let's duplicate this rectangle using Command C and the Command V. And uh, what we're gonna do next uh, is uh, we're going to start adding uh, the different uh, menu items. So let's write max kit. I'm going to increase uh, the font size. Let's make this one uh, even bolder. We'll do the trick. We're going to have the logo at the top uh, and then right below that we're going to have the call to action to create uh, a product. And uh, we're going to make this, of course, much smaller. And uh, let's recreate uh, what we see here. These, uh, uh, basically, if we go on the preview, you're going to see that uh, we have a little bit of a different uh, um, rectangle, which we're going to recreate uh, using the pen tool. Let's go over like this. And here we have uh, our final shape. Now we are also going to add the, the main color, which is kind of like a, a low key violet leading towards a, a purple. And let's bring this uh, below so we can see the create product uh, uh, name. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And we're going to add an icon here. And uh, just before we continue, I want to remind you that I recently launched uh, this uh, uh, academy where essentially if you want to learn how to become uh, a designer or if you're already one and you want to leverage uh, and uh, bring your career to the next level, this uh, is going to contain all the over dozen courses which I created over the past uh, years uh, and uh, it's over 40 hours of content uh, from uh, the design softwares all the way to how I find uh, and pitch uh, high ticket design clients since I myself have been a designer for over a decade. So if you're interested in learning more about this, feel free to check it out. But now let's go back uh, to the actual design and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to make <clears throat> the top level menu a little bit more on the right. Let's add the nucleo icons to add a plus button which we're going to add uh, here at the very right. As you can see it's, it's quite big. So we're going to make it smaller and we're going to make this uh, white so just like that and uh, here we go we have our base uh, menu now what we're gonna do next is we're going to add all the other elements of the menu let's write over here overview and we're going to have uh, different placeholders for the different icons of the menu and uh, let's bring this one here 
And for the time being, uh, we are just going to essentially... So let's uh, duplicate this uh, just a few times to have all the other menu items. And that will do. All right, let's try it. Products, let's try it. Orders, customers, and uh, manage reviews and the checkout. All right. Now at this point we have uh, our base, let's select all of this, let's bring it a little bit down and of course it's not going to be perfect exactly like uh, the original but uh, as long as we get close and we learn all of the major elements you know that's going to be totally fine. Let's write uh, search and we're going to add uh, the search right here, let's make it just a little bit bigger just like that we're going to use a gray similar to this one or actually let's go ahead and let's uh, make this one like that and uh, we are going to write uh, search through our catalog let's make this one uh, medium and we're going to basically make this one a lighter gray. All right, so we have our base. Now let's add the, the bell icon on the very right. And uh, we are going to go over here. Let's write bell. And we're going to find uh, a bell icon in order to add it uh, right uh, on this section. All right, let's use the same color and let's uh, bring it over here. And now we're going to use a oval shape in order to add the avatar of the individual. All right, at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to leverage this really cool plugin called uh, Content Trail. And uh, this is going to enable us to add uh, and find uh, a real life avatar image. So let's go over here. Let's add this one. And that will do the job. All right. Well, let's add the main uh, text. And. Uh, Let's increase uh, the font size considerably. We're going to use a subtext right here. All right, that will do. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to actually change the fill of these ones. Let's make them just a little bit bigger and more on the left side. And uh, after that, uh, we are going to actually add uh, the four main blocks. So just like that, stretch it a little bit. And uh, here we go. Add a little bit more text right here, just above this line. And uh, we're going to add uh, the same uh, textile, this one.
and I uh, can't really see what's uh, on the other side. Let's write just some, some other text. Let's add some icons. Now we're going to group uh, all of this in these ones here below. Duplicate it a few times. We're going to change the color of uh, these guys right here. All right, perfect. So let's continue with uh, the other ones. And then we're going to probably refine this in part two since uh, I'm going to basically update this uh, in a moment. this uh, legend Here we go. <clears throat> All right, Let's center this. Let's bring this one on the right. We're going to add this uh, drop down arrow. Let's increase the size just a bit. All right. Now let's add uh, just a few lines. Uh, <clears throat> are going to be a little bit lighter. Hmm. Let's bring them up. And uh, here we go. Let's 
make these a little bit smaller. And we are going to add uh, the different lines using the pen tool. going to be the first one second one this uh, detail is not really over the top let's bring it here and that's better all right so we have uh, the base of this dashboard now we're going to actually go ahead and clean things up uh, see it side by side and basically improve it uh, altogether because this is still in a form where uh, it's not really like super high quality so yeah but thanks for watching this tutorial hope it was helpful and i'll see you in the very next one